Let's get into the big calls oh, of the tournament. All right, let's start off with who will be your surprise packet of the tournament, Stats Boy? Uh, surprise packet of the tournament. I've, I've looked at the wrong thing there. Hungry. I didn't mind their, uh, I think they could be that third place qualifying thing, push pushing for second because yeah. I'm a little bit worried uh, being a Scottish fan. But you've got Sobers like, I think they're really good in defense as they showed in the qualifiers. And I think they could, they could shock a few, uh, yeah, a few big teams. So why not Hungry? I'm going with Serbia for pure firepower reasons. They can score a lot of goals, <laughs> yeah, but they can also bit. pregame just be standing in the dugout and just be like, Intimidation factor. I'm going to smash you. <laughs> Simple yeah. as that. I like that. Well, I, I actually agree with you as well. I've gone, <laughs> I've gone Serbia because I think they, like, they got a tough sort of group. So they'll finish, like if they finish third, they might not progress as a third place finisher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Same goes with Denmark because they were really bad in the World Cup. It's just whether they can... Yeah. Back it up. Yeah. Yep. Fair. All right, let's get to let down of the tournament. I'm going Croatia. Those old bodies. Father time. <laughs> he is unbeaten, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and father time will get Croatia this tournament. They oh. are done. I think they'll be Oof. all right, Croatia. You, you the same? I've, I've also gone Croatia. Oh. Again, I think they depends if they finish above Italy or not yeah. um, in that group. And that's why I've gone Croatia or Italy is the letdown of the tournament. Yep, yep. Stats, man. Uh, I'm going Netherlands. I think a lot of people uh, think they're going to be really call. good. As Marcus mentioned, you've got Weghurst up top. I don't think they have enough firepower to score. They're going to not concede many goals, but I think they might have a, a few draws because they sh should have scored two goals instead of one or something like that. So I think they might, they'll make it out of the group stage, but then yep. they'll struggle to progress after that. So I'm going to go Netherlands. All right, and let's get to the breakout player of the year, <laughs> a.k.a. who Chelsea will pay $150 <laughs> million <laughs> for come the start of August. Marcus. Of course, we already mentioned both of these boys, but Buongiorno and the Italian squad sent yep. half of his minutes and Johan Bakayoko uh, for the Dutch. Yep. Uh, I'm going with Zaya Emery. I know he's already at PSG, but this no, could... Portu Portugal's. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm going with Zaya Emery. I already know that he's at PSG, but it's also like he comes out and just goes, I'm really goddamn good. Yeah. Now, now that Mbappe's left, let me take that spot. Uh, and then, of course, Benjamin Sesko up front. Uh, I know that the <laughs> Slovenians won't go through, but hey, he'll score a bunch of goals and they'll be like, dear God, Arsenal, please buy him before the 14th. <laughs> Classic Arsenal man over there. Well, um, no, I want to keep this fees down. I know you guys don't care about how much you pay across in Chelsea. No, At true. Arsenal, we try to be a sustainable model Fair going forward. Yeah. yeah, we're not even a club anymore. We're just a, <laughs> we're just a business. We're just a, we're just a money lawyer. <laughs> no, anyway, uh, my breakout player, I uh, know he's already broken out, so I'll say another one. Florian Wirtz. I was going to punch you if you Florian, said yeah. But he hasn't broken out for his country is what I'm saying. He hasn't Dude. broken out for Germany. He hasn't for Germany. He hasn't. I'll look up his stats for Germany. How many yeah, goals but He's got. He's never, look, he hasn't scored for Germany. Look at the season he just had. All right, I was, was going to say another one as like well. Like Cody Gakpo broke out of the World Cup. Broke out, his market broken. value was 130 million. Ah, that's, <laughs> that's nothing. That's 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 anyway, I'll say another one just to make you guys hey, happy. I tell you who's going to have a really good tournament: Kylian Mbappe. <laughs> <laughs> Is he? Yeah. I've heard of that guy. Yeah. No, I mean for his country. He hasn't starred for his country yet. Is what I'm trying to say. The other one I'm going to say is Billy Gilmore. I wanted to get a Scottish player in there. I think he's going to have a really good tournament. He'd broken out by now. Billy Gilmore would be playing for a better team than Brighton. I, I, he's. He's a very good player. I was, I was actually warmers. upset when he left Chelsea. I yeah, think he's a very good player. Play. He's going to score a few bangers, get a lot of assists, Billy Gilmore, in that midfield for Scotland. All right, who wins? French. Oui, oui. Yeah. Yeah, je suis allé s'il vous plaît. Lift, lift, lift that trophy. Oh, you think you're doing Lipa? <laughs> Hell right? yeah, I have. Get <laughs> ready for my, <laughs> getting ready for my holiday next year. Uh, yeah, I think the French get this done. So you've been doing Dua Lipa? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's the joke that yeah. we used to say, yeah, like Dua Lingo, Dua Lipa. Uh, yeah. The way yeah, I said it was probably it. a bit yeah. funny. Yeah. I wish. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the French will win this tournament. They are absolutely stacked. They play the best football of any team in this tournament is the French. They usually played in tournaments. Historically, they do. Other teams like England and the Netherlands have a habit of choking. Yeah, I've got I've got uh, France and Germany playing off in the final. Ooh. France winning. Yeah, I've got yeah. So my runners up. France. So Ooh. my runners up. I've got Germany as well, but potentially the Dutch. Oh, I'm the way go... I had my bracket worked out. It's that that's the semi final bracket. Yeah. yeah. Is got... it possible for so I'm going Portugal? Can yeah. Portugal and Germany play each other in the final? No. Uh, Portugal no. France. Is that possible? Yes, Portugal yeah. friend. All right, so I'll go, I'll go Portugal as my number one. I think their depth is amazing. That's, you, this is also, we're all assuming that the teams we are selecting are to top their group. That's yes. how it all works yeah. out. So, I, yeah, I'm saying Portugal to top their group, and then they're going to yep. win the whole thing against France. I think, obviously, France are going to be right up there. You both both have tipped them. But this depth in this uh, Portuguese team, as Marcus mentioned, is unbelievable. You've you got Neves off the bench, could score a banger. Jota literally will provide a lot of run off the bench. I think Ramos might start a few games. and He was awesome when he was way younger at the uh, World Cup. So... 
Yeah. You can also predict Germany to be your runners up. Like mm. because home, it's tournament football. We don't know anything that's gonna go. Home yeah. nation. Home nation. I'm 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 relying very heavily on the home nation yes. lifting and peaking for this afternoon. Okay. In the I've got, I've got Germany playing Portugal in the semi final and just purely home nation vibes. I'm Germany and Netherlands, yeah. Okay. With a Tony Cruz banger. But Portugal, I wouldn't be surprised they yeah. make the team Yeah, I'm very excited by this team, so I'm picking them to win.